Hi, this is Dr. Amy, and this video is for parents who have little babies um, who have been given a diagnosis, perhaps, of a fungal infection and been, giving, been given medicine for a fungal infection or thrush. Um, I see a lot of babies in my practice who come in for a tongue-tie evaluation, and of course I see a lot of tongue-tie babies because that's sort of what we subspecialize in. And tongue-tied babies in particular, um, we're talking little bitty babies long before they've had other reasons like thumb sucking or palate sucking, uh, or thumb sucking or pacifier sucking, uh, which would make a high palate. So when babies are born with high palate, we've talked about how that's a pretty high um, um, indicator of a tongue tie because the tongue on a proper swallow fills the roof of the mouth and shapes the palate. So when you have a tongue tie and the tongue isn't able to completely do its job and fill the roof of the mouth, you're more likely to have a narrow or a bubble palate. So when this happens um, and the babies are taking milk, whether formula or breast milk, um, and their tongue isn't filling the roof of the mouth and scraping against the palate on a complete swallow, what will happen is what's called the filiform papillae or the epithelial cells on the tongue will actually overgrow. Just like you can, if you don't exfoliate, you might have thicker, drier skin. So you'll have this overgrown um, epithelial layer on the back dorsal surface of the tongue that's not scraping against the roof of the mouth. So it makes hair-like projections on the tongue and then the milk just settles in these hair-like projections and coats the tongue. So um, it's not uncommon, like I said, for babies to go and um, maybe a provider to see the white coating on the tongue and just be quick to give a fungal infection diagnosis and medicine. But the fungal medicine is kind of hard on babies' little systems and certainly I know there's no mother that would wanna give their baby a medication that they didn't need. Um, so thrush or fungal infection in the mouth is usually gonna be on lots of areas, not just on the tongue. And it's gonna have not only the white patches, but bright red areas around it. So if your baby just has a white coating on the tongue, take a look in the roof of the mouth. If, the, if you put your finger in there and it's really high, that's called a high palate. And you can know that with a high palate, the tongue isn't able to get all the way up in there. So that skin on the tongue is gonna grow a little bit higher and the milk is gonna pool. Um, if it's a tongue-tied baby, obviously you need to treat the tongue-tie, but realize it's going to take even a couple of years sometimes for the palate to really reshape, and so you may see a white coating on your child's tongue until they're two or two and a half years of age, and that, wouldn't be, that would not be uncommon, um, especially for babies who do extended breastfeeding or extended bottle feeding. Um, so that's all I got to tell you about a white tongue coating. I hope this is helpful. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to contact our office and I would be happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much.